Did you know? After this video, you will know. Um, when the winter is here and it's not so far away, don't you miss all the fresh herbs from your garden um, for your nice meal and everything. We want to show you how you can grow your winter wonderland on your window from the kitchen, from the living room, wherever the sun is giving a little bit, I would say at least six to eight hours, right Ken? Yeah. Six to eight hours so the babies can grow. If you don't have a window with sun, may you want to, now these are not grow lights, but they are grow lights you can get for nearly nothing and they would help the babies, right? There's smaller grow lights out there for the house, uh, smaller ones even, but that they work. Now, not all plants need full sunlight and everything. There's rosemary and I think I'm not sure. I think it's here, oregano. But they need, I mean, when they we need have... a little bit of light, but full... they don't need full sunlight. Yeah, but important is for the babies. Yes. And right now we figured eight um, medical and kitchen herbs we want to show you. And I mean, you don't want to, maybe you want, but for example, this big beauty here is turmeric. And the turmeric we grow out, can you see that here? out of this turmeric roots and if they get this little noses you put them in the in the soil with this piece up and then i would say within two weeks or three weeks yep. the the turmeric will grow like this okay this is from our greenhouse and i'll show it here just watch the overhead camera so say this is your little pot look it doesn't even have to be high this is about two and a half inches high just open up okay always look that what's coming up there that that's standing up don't bury it under that. Put it up like this. Watch the up, upper camera. Put it around like this. Voila. And that's it. And don't do that. That's give it some, some water. Okay. Give it some water. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Voila, like that. Okay. Um, I know you want to show it, but I want to show it. It's hard if you watch the overhead. This is termiac. This is ginger. So if you don't mark them at home, I'm sure you don't see the different. Um, we always, I mean, here you would see because it's a little bit red like the termiac is, and here it's ginger and you see this one would be ready. And you cut it or break it in different kinds so you have more plants are coming out. Right, and this is ginger right here. So this, this, here. Is, this is ginger and this is termiac. So the roots we showed you, they are hard to say which is which, but when it's growing, you see easily the difference between ginger, which is high and have small leaves and termiac i mean termiac is high as well but you see the leaves they are big turmeric turmeric is <laughs> turmeric yeah i always say turmeric so the babies we have here you can grow on your kitchen window or whatever this is for example pineapple mint you can grow easily then we have our beloved sage you can mm -hmm. grow on your window and as ken already said we have Rosemary, oops, here's a camera. Rosemary, you can set, um, grow the babies on your kitchen window. And this is the newest one we tried the first time. <laughs> this is garlic. And you see the roots already? So this garlic is ready to get into the soil. It was normal garlic, right? We, no, it's elephant garlic. Right, yeah, but theore theoretically you can use garlic, yeah. garlic from the store. Organic garlic, not the package you can get. They are already dried out or whatever and then you can plant this and you have garlic not i wouldn't even put this on the window in the kitchen but it's just to show you you can easily grow your own babies here we have majoran um this is a bigger plant but we got this one you can cut it make cuttings put it in water and the the roots will grow grow <laughs> and here for example this is greek oregano um the same here you just make cuttings put it in water and see how the roots are coming up and then you can plant it into your um, container or whatever. Um, the good thing is you can even, but we didn't put it out, we have in our greenhouse, we have lettuce, um, but this you cannot grow lettuce out of a leaf, so you have to have the seeds. Um, our lettuce is ready to harvest and we are totally excited because right now the season is over. Everything what you can get now in the store 
is imported from I don't know where it comes from but it's definitely not local anymore because the season is over so with a greenhouse even if you don't want to invest in a big greenhouse like our one in front and our one in the back there are little greenhouses you can put in your living room right Ken yep. you get them online they have one two three shelves maybe and like a tent over <laughs> this and then you can go ahead and grow your own lettuce for example I guess Ken is just going to the greenhouse to get the lettuce because he's a big fan of lettuce for a salad or even for um, put it on a sandwich or chives um, have your own chives don't don't the not the dry chives fresh chives you you grow on your own from seeds and this is for example that's that's our lettuce is yes. that beautiful so you can plant this so all year round with seeds and let it grow in a little greenhouse or you see how small this plant planter is just have an under thing with it and you can plant it all year round all year round and you'll have fresh lettuce yeah just wanted to show you <laughs> and we also have radish outside we did not have tomatoes yet because we are both not friends or we don't like put, uh, tomatoes or other way around we didn't find the uh, kind of tomatoes we really like um so we are still experiment 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 <laughs> we're trying we're trying different seeds and see how the taste is um, but we didn't start yet because we have so many herbs already in our greenhouse and also we have ashwagandha uh, comfrey plant plantain and whatever you need um, what we think we need fresh all year around if it's getting warmer again spring next year then our greenhouse will be emptied kind of emptied mm -hmm. and Not everything, yeah. we put it in our high raised beds high outside. raised beds yeah outside so but we have up up back here too and out front and by our greenhouse so yeah so that's and important. i guess ken want to show you how to oh yeah i'll show you now how simple it is so See. you get these by any home depot maybe or i don't know uh, even yeah. one of those shops called where you could get uh craft stores craft stores yeah sometimes you'll get or these small Amazon. ones <laughs> now you can important is when i just that yeah. it has to be a hole Yes. It has to be a hole because if it's closed, the air is not going through the um, to the soil and the water stuck in there. It could get moldy and stinky. It'll and... start rotting on you and you don't yeah. want that. So what you, but what you normally do, you can pre-lay these in water yeah. too, pre-lay that. And the same with the dirt I'm using right now. Okay. This is our own mixture of our own soil, soil and everything that we compost. compost and you can pre-damp this and use a wet one now, but I didn't want to do it on video. But you can use dry too. So some people take little bit of sand would be too big for the hole, but bigger stones and close the hole a little bit. So what we're putting in there won't fall out. So that's what we'll do right now. We'll put some in there. Okay. So, and then we'll put some more. And it's very, very simple. Fill it up to the top. Okay. Then, of course... What you'll do is you can wet it. Now this is very fresh. So wet it a little bit. And you could do this with all herbs. It goes all the same way. Your excess water what's too much because you don't want to get root foulness either. So just like strawberries and everything, if there's too much water left in the ground that can't flee, uh, flow away, you could get root foulness and then everything was nothing. I take two fingers. Well, I'll look how deep the roots go. Oh, look at that. Oh, about two inches, two and a half. So what you do is just take your fingers here, make yourself a hole. a hole, and it's very easy. Do not press down when you're putting your babies, your babies in here and everything. Then just take your roots, make your channel there, lay it on top, keep it over the roots under the ground the soil but keep the rest over there we go just like that and of course i made a big mess here normally i do this in the greenhouse that's why we put this down today here we go so and it's all ready do put something underneath to pick up the water that's left over better said if you put a little tray underneath and you can use it's not supposed to seal it. Remember that. 
look for something that it's standing off a little bit that has structure inside and everything these these little coasters they have these four glass pieces standing up so it's not going to be flat and close the hole up at the bottom and now it'll suck up the water as needed just like that put it on your window with all these it's the same thing the same way to do it and after a while you will see the the basil here for this example will grow and the time will come and this is too small for the basil. So maybe the basil is like this. You can go ahead and be careful. Use a bigger pot um, and transfer your basil in a bigger pot um, so it can grow better. And of course you can put it in a bigger pot from the beginning. Yeah. That's no problem either. So the smaller the pot, the smaller the plant will be, but the roots will fill up in it. So it's always a good idea. Yes, leave it here for a couple, maybe a month or a month and a half then put it in a bigger pot and we have inside a plant it's about that high from the windowsill about that high and this much a bush yes we cut off the bigger leaves we then we take the younger leaves to cook delicious <laughs> and if it's starting blooming that's what basil doing on a certain time if it's starting blooming go ahead and just take your fingernails and Clip or clip it off. Clip it off. Because otherwise, the whole power and energy from the plant, every plant which is blooming, is going into the flower and not in the leaves. What you want to what you want to use. So if you see it's blooming, take your finger or a little scissor, a garden scissor, or whatever, and um, clip it off. So the power and the energy is really going into the leaves where you want to have it. Right. Yeah. So now, of course. <laughs> you can use these type too for in the greenhouse. I have these hanging on the on a wooden wall, but I've learned something. So <laughs> put, there. putting this in there, there's a hole in here too. But these do not stand straight on the wall. They stand like this. So you putting in water like this will bypass the plant completely and just slip out the hole in the bottom. So if you're giving them water, take them down a little bit, give them water and Two, three minutes later, you can hang them up again. But do not do not leave them. Even if you try putting water in up here, it'll take the shorter straight way. It will not fill up the rest and runs just out. Yep, that was one thing I had to learn this week. We didn't lose any. <laughs> but I think it's not even... It's nice like this. Yep. And if you really don't like it, <laughs> well, you can just uh, remove it. But as I said, and as Ken said, because there's a hole and here is a hole, it's, yeah, it's challenging to keep the water um, from running through this pot, through this pot on your carpet or your wooden floor or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't always want to do put that. little trays underneath. And just remember, yeah, yeah. you know, like the, don't use the teacup trays. Again, that'll seal the bottom off. The plant will not be able to suck water up. That's that's the problem. A lot of times you'll see somebody takes a plate, a little plate or a tea, a teacup plate that seals this hole up. It doesn't let air in or out or water in or out anymore. You don't want to do that. Look for these little, well, you can see here and they have them in all sizes. Let me show you here. You see that with the dirt laying down, that's the deepness. But then there's openings here and that way air and water can get up through the plant. And as Ken said, you get them in big, small, and oh, we yeah. have here the middle size. And as we said earlier, everything here is from our greenhouse right now. The babies, we, of course, we have the babies in the greenhouse because our window in the kitchen is already full, as he <laughs> said, with a big, big um, bas basil. basil. I want to say basilicum, which is a German word. And yeah, what, what I said earlier, really, really good is um, chive. But chive, we have it in our greenhouse as well. You can grow it. You have to buy seeds. And from our experience, we we tried the little six. Yeah. You say the little ones to grow the seeds. And I was putting one seed in one area, and this is not working. This is if you wanna grow your um, chive, I would really say take this size here, put it in, put the soil in, put the soil in, and just take the whole package of chive organic and put it in there and let it grow. Otherwise you have little, little chive you, you can hardly use. All right. So to close it up, we have here, as we said, our winter wonderland, your, your mint, your pep, pineapple mint, your sage, your garlic, your rosemary, basilicum, majoran, oregano. And yeah, this is a little bit hard for the, for the window, but to show you termiac and ginger. ginger. So, this th and they I will all grow over winter. 
Yeah, and this is important, not because we have the greenhouse. Even before we had our two greenhouses, we had this little greenhouse and we still have two. More than one little greenhouse. <laughs> uh, the, the, you can get them again by Amazon. They, they are so high, I guess, and yep. they have shelves, one, two, three, yep. three shelves yep. in there in like a tent. If around. you're interested, let us know below and we'll send you a link. Yeah. Okay, we'll put a link then on the video where you can look at them, different sizes and everything. Now, everything you're growing here too, I think, but the ginger and the oh, yeah. turmeric okay you can grow in hy hyperponic too aquaponic yes aquaponic too it works we have an aquaponic system downstairs too where we activate in very very spring mm. to get things up With and running pumps and everything yeah. so this is nothing for just having fresh herbs at home no. i would not invest everything but yeah even the basil for example you could if you don't have soil or you don't want to handle the soil you can like it is right here, let it grow. It will grow. It doesn't need soil. It can grow like this and you can harvest it whatever you, whenever you need it. I mean, of course, the roots will be getting bigger, but bas basil will grow like this. Yep. I guess that's it, right? Yeah. So if you have... Let us know what you're interested in. If you have any problems or anything, let us know. We'd yeah. like to talk to you about it. See what we can... Or let us know what you grow on your windowsill at home over the winter so fresh herbs all years yes long so yes. we have it and we are so excited that's why we want to share it to you and as i said even before we had the big ones the greenhouses we had in the whole house this little yep. living room greenhouses and we had also our fresh lettuce and basil and everything but the amount we need now with the medical use of all the herbs we have to have the two greenhouses over there and there um it would not be enough in the living room i would point that <laughs> point that out too just again yes every single one of these can be used for medical herbs yeah. that you need you have your peppermint your peppermint tea and everything everything here we have rosemary we have yep. rosemary as uh, oil and as a tincture it's so it's good for hair growing make, yep. sage we had the video just last week i yeah, guess yeah. about sage um basil i just made a tincture out of basil and there is a video out as well um then we have sage here this is last week's sage what we were talking about see how it's going down now and yep. we just put it out of the dark spot to show you so yeah it's going back we have to apologize nice. we have to apologize so he's in in the brightness now but it will be fine all right so yeah as ken said if you have any question how you can grow and make your fresh herbs all year round available for you in the kitchen um let us know if you have any question if you can cutting uh, cutting from this and this plant, from this and this herb, let us know and we can help you there and find a solution if or if not. All right? Yep. But other than that, we are not. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about plants. It doesn't matter. Okay, I just came over with my, yeah, okay. We are not doctors. We are, or I am a herb, uh, master herbalist. We will not give you any medical advice. If you have any question deeper and you don't want to trust us, go to your doctor and ask him for any medical advice. Other than this, I would say that's it for today, right? In two weeks, we have our big, big and last event in Des Moines. Um, Cleve, Des Moines, Cleve. Iowa. Yeah, that's the last one for this year. So from this time on, we are, I would say, free. We The weekends are really free because we have no farmer's market. We have no events anymore. So other than this, um, yeah. <laughs> Love and light. Love and light. Ken and Ute. Ciao, ciao.